Cinnamon Takzo here and welcome to another What the Facts video. Battle spells are one of the things you choose before a match starts, aside from choosing your hero, your gear set, or the snack you'll be eating while you're dead. These spells help you gain an advantage over your opponents if you use them properly. There are currently 12 battle spells in game and we will talk about my top 5 battle spells. So yes, in my opinion. So of course, if you use a battle spell not included in the list, please feel free to share your thoughts as well in the comment section below so we can help everyone out. Number 5. Purify. Purify is a 150 second cooldown battle spell that immediately removes all stuns, slows, disables, and grants you that 1 second immunity to crowd controls and provide you a 30% boost in movement speed. Now this is a really great spell, right? But why is it in number 5 on my list? It is mostly because of the cooldown it has. It's pretty long, isn't it? And how often do you get stunned anyways? Especially if you position yourself properly in teamfights, letting the tank take the stunts for you. Given that, there are still times where the enemy outplays you and you find yourself unable to move or do anything. That's when this spell shines, letting you get out of that situation and maybe turn the fight around. This is best used with almost any hero, especially mages as you are almost always vulnerable to enemy focus because bringing you down means less damage output from your team. Number 4. Inspire. This battle spell will give your hero an additional 55% attack speed on the next 8 basic attacks that you do. And each of those attacks will ignore 25 armor of the target. It's also on a 60 second cooldown so you can use it more often. It gives you that advantage on 1 vs 1 early game and helps you take down turrets real fast when you're given the chance. Late game, you can find the spell very successful in split pushing and team fights if you use it at the right time. The only problem I have with this spell is that the spell is really useful only if you're using heroes that rely on basic attacks, like some fighters or marksmen in general. So unlike other spells, the usability of Inspire is limited to half of the heroes in game or less. Number 3 Petrify. Petrify is a battle spell with a 90 second cooldown that deals magic damage to enemies around your hero and turns them into stone for 0.7 seconds. Now although 0.7 seconds is a bit short, Petrify can interrupt skill casting and channeling spells. You can also use this spell to stop enemies for a bit if they're chasing you or if you're chasing them. This spell is very useful when used with tanks, fighters or assassins as it helps you follow up your engage or diving skills, disabling the enemy team and preventing you from getting stunned and nuked down after you get into the middle of the team fight. At the same time, it is also useful in interrupting the assassination attempts of assassins getting into your backline during team fights. You can turn them into stone for a bit so you'll have time to retaliate with stuns or skills or run away and create distance. Number 2. Retribution. This spell is used to instantly deal a huge amount of damage on a target jungle monster or a minion. And after casting that spell, your hero gains 30% bonus damage against jungle monsters for 3 seconds using skills or basic attacks. Lord and turtle steals, buff stealing, you name it. This spell does that. What I like about this spell is the cooldown it has. For every 30 seconds, you'll be able to use the retribution. This spell is best used with assassins as it helps you clear jungle monsters fast for the blue buff, experience, and gold. And most of the time, you gain more XP and levels versus heroes or allies staying in lane. So this way, you'll reach level four fast and get your ult and you'll be able to go around the map looking for easy kills and you can finish off enemies with low HP or you can set up ganks, help your allies. Retribution can also be used with mages to get that early gold and XP advantage only if you're confident that you can position well since this spell does not have any defensive function aside from the ability to slow down enemy heroes. And to get that function, you'd have to buy and upgrade a jungle item at least once for the hero targeting and slow low effect to be usable. And for the number one spot, we got 
Flicker. Using Flicker will teleport your hero to a short distance instantly. It has a 120 second cooldown and after using it, any stuns or disables that you receive will have their duration reduced by 50%. So why is this battle spell number one on my list? That's easy, because every hero, no matter what hero type, hero class, can use this spell effectively with no drawbacks. You can use it for escaping, chasing, positioning in teamfights to land that initiation skill. Flicker is most especially useful when used with heroes that have no mobility skills in their kit, like most mages or even marksmen. It helps in creating that distance that you need to have advantage over assassins, tanks, or fighters that try to get close to you. Tanks that want to surprise their enemies by instantly teleporting between them can benefit from this spell as well. You can probably use this with some assassins or fighters as well but that would be overkill because most fighters and assassins have a way of closing the gap or escaping with one of their skills. So that is it for my top 5 battle spells in Mobile Legends at least for right now until they make changes on these spells. So. Please let me know what you think and share your top 5 battle spells as well in the comment section below. And leave a like or subscribe if you find this video useful. Helps me out a lot. And again, my name is Shinman Takizo and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.